rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are looking at cloudy skies right now here in Central Texas. Some areas seen a little light drizzle. Otherwise, we're seeing temperatures, well, in the upper 40s and lower 50s, which is the highest temperatures we've seen today. We'll uh, talk about that here in just a second, but let's take you out to Bryan and College Station, our live Centex seamless cutter sky tracker. It's on the Galleria Village office building in Bryan. Again, looking uh, mostly cloudy, and with Texas A&M there off in the distance. We've got 47 degrees right now in Waco, 43 in Temple. 39 in Colleen. Again, the warm air really has been uh, just kind of slowly moving up from the south to the north. Uh, we're going to see that trend overnight tonight. 50 right now in Mejia, and the current temperature out in Comanche right at 41 degrees. There's a little chill with these temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Any kind of wind out there will knock those temperatures down a few degrees. Feels like 36 right now in Gatesville as uh, we have 35 down in Lampasas, Caldwell 45 in Mejia, holding steady right at 48 degrees. Now our satellite, pretty quiet. We've got those clouds on top of us now. We're going to start to get more of that south to southeast breeze kicking in. These uh, winds are carrying a lot of moisture with it and it's also carrying the warm air. So we're going to see not only clouds in the forecast for tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures that are running a little bit above average for this time of the year. So let's uh, take a look at our forecast here. This is our future cast at midnight tonight. Skies mostly cloudy. And you notice a little green here and there. That's a little light drizzle across parts of our area. And tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., temperatures actually warming up to the upper 40s to lower 50s. Maybe some upper 50s down toward the Brazos Valley. Once again, as we go throughout the morning, some spotty showers, especially off to our east. Maybe some drizzle. I think not much in the way of precipitation, although I can't rule it out. West of our region, we are looking at, again, a lot of clouds. As we hit the afternoon, though, some showers, some isolated thunderstorms may fire up, especially uh, right along I-45 and also maybe down toward the Brazos Valley. So we'll have to watch College Station down toward Brenham. Again, this is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Could have a thunderstorm or two. There is a slight, uh, or I should say a moderate risk, or not a moderate risk, a marginal risk of uh, uh, any of these storms producing some stronger winds. So we'll watch that very, very close uh, as we hit the afternoon. But again, not expecting uh, much uh, in the way of any rough weather. And then by very late Saturday into early Sunday, though we kind of cleared out just a little bit because here comes a front. Not ahead of the front. We'll see clear skies and a few more clouds will start to roll in here by the afternoon hours, but still not looking bad on your Sunday. We should still uh, see temperatures climbing into the 70s here across the region. But uh, rainfall, well, it's out there and it will be out there on Saturday, but uh, not a whole lot expected up and down I 35, maybe two one hundredths of an inch in Waco. Same story down toward Coin, but you get over. A little bit farther back off to the east, Hearn picks up maybe a, a three quarters or at least a third of an inch, I should say. And then right now, the latest computers are putting an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Depends on where some of those uh, showers and thunderstorms set up, but they could see some uh, heavier rainfall in that region. Tonight, though, we're going to keep it high and dry for the most part, especially west of Waco, Temple, and Coin. Mostly cloudy skies. Some patchy drizzle may develop overnight. Again, we saw a little early this evening down around Coin and over toward College Station. So that's going to be in the forecast, about 47 degrees. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Again, there's a 40% chance of a scattered shower, maybe an isolated storm. Best chances will be east of Waco, Temple, and Colleen, maybe over toward the Bryan and College Station area and eastward. And then sunshine on Sunday. Temperatures over the weekend, low to middle 60s. And then as we look ahead, this is the long-range 10-day forecast. 58 degrees behind the front. And then as we look ahead, though, we are looking at pretty quiet conditions. For most of us, here's some hit and miss rain possible with another front moving through on Friday. And high temperatures running a little bit above average in the 60s. Lows will be in the 40s and 50s. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, again, a much better chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. We'll watch for some stronger storms, especially uh, as we hit 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. There's the front on Sunday and the next week, upper 50s to low to mid 60s for highs and nighttime lows in the 40s and 50s.